Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the writing a journal cheat sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll be able to keep a diary in your target language and talk about your day. Inside, you learn phrases for common daily activities from morning to night. Second, the language learning starter pack PDF ebook. If you're new to the language, do you know what word to learn first? With this ebook, you get over 70 basic words and phrases that beginners need to know. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when apologizing to someone. After watching this video, you'll be able to apologize and say what you're apologizing for. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Okurete sumimasen. Daijoubu desu. Once more with the English translation. Okurete sumimasen. I'm sorry for being late. Daijoubu desu. Don't worry about it. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, I'm sorry for reason. The pattern is reason. Sumimasen. This Japanese sentence literally translates as reason, sorry, but it means I'm sorry for reason. For example, I'm sorry for being late. Okurete sumimasen. Okurete sumimasen. Now, how do you respond that it's okay? Daijoubu desu. Listen to it again. Daijoubu desu. This Japanese sentence literally translates as, it's all right. But it means, don't worry about it. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to apologize. Being late. Okurete. Okurete. Being late. Okurete. Lying to you. Uso o tsuite. Uso o tsuite. Lying to you. Uso o tsuite. Hurting your feelings. Kimochi o kizutsukete. Kimochi o. Kizutsukete. Hurting your feelings. Kimochi o kizutsukete. Canceling. Cancel shite. Cancel shite. Canceling. Cancel shite. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. I'm sorry for lying to you. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry for canceling. Don't worry about it. Now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'm sorry for reason? Reason. Sumimasen. And how do you respond to it? Daijoubu desu. 
Imagine you want to apologize because you told a lie to someone. Do you remember how to say lying to you? Uso tsuite. Uso tsuite. Say, I'm sorry for lying to you. Uso tsuite, sumimasen. Now say you're sorry for lying and respond to it. Uso tsuite, sumimasen. Now imagine you want to apologize because you hurt someone's feelings. Do you remember how to say hurting your feelings? Say, I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Now say you're sorry for hurting someone's feelings and respond to it. Now imagine you want to apologize because you cancelled. Do you remember how to say cancelling? Cancelして Say, I'm sorry for cancelling. Cancelしてすみません Now, say you're sorry for cancelling and respond to it. Cancelしてすみません in this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to apologize to someone. You are now able to apologize and forgive someone like a native speaker. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is the two minute rule to cracking through the hard parts of language learning. If you're learning a language, there is a 100% guarantee that you have a whole list of grammar rules or words that you struggle with. Or maybe it's a whole skill like listening. Either way, you're likely very aware of your specific pain points, or you could say the hard parts of the language. But what if you could crack these hard parts and master them with something called the two minute rule? Today you'll discover how to use the two minute rule, why you'll need to apply this tactic daily to make it work, and much more. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Writing a Journal Cheat Sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll be able to keep a diary in your target language and talk about your day. Inside, you learn phrases for common daily activities from morning to night. Second, the Language Learning Starter Pack PDF eBook. If you're new to the language, do you know what words to learn first? With this ebook, you get over 70 basic words and phrases that beginners need to know. Start with these words first. Download it right now. Third, how to talk about holiday gifts. What gift do you want the most this holiday season? With this quick vocab lesson, you'll learn common gift vocabulary like laptop, camera, money, and more. Fourth, do you know how to say November or December in your target language? If not, then this one minute lesson will teach you all the months of the year. Fifth, interested in learning another language? With this bonus, you'll get free access to our other language programs from Afrikaans to Vietnamese. Check out all 34 languages inside. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. 
the two-minute rule to cracking through the hard parts of language learning. Part one, the two-minute rule for breaking through. If you think about the language you're learning, what are the specific points that you're struggling with? Is it conjugating certain verbs or a certain tense? Leave a comment below and tell us what your trouble spots are. It's practically a guarantee that if you're learning a language, you'll run into trouble from time to time. So how do you deal with these pain points? Well, there's something called the two minute rule for creating habits. If you wanna start a new habit and do something new, do it for just two minutes a day. Once those two minutes are up, you can walk away and come back to it tomorrow. You can apply this very same rule toward cracking the hard parts of language learning. But the trick is, you have to keep up with it almost daily or do it every time you're learning a language. How? For example, you can spend about two minutes on creating sentences with grammar rules you recently learned. But why just two minutes? If it's hard, you'd think you'd wanna spend more time on it, right? If you can spend more than two minutes, you should. But the fact is, the parts you struggle with, whether grammar or otherwise, are not fun to do and probably not your favorite things to do. So it's unlikely that you'll put in 10 or 30 minutes towards something you struggle with and don't like. But usually that hard part, if you can master it, will take your language to the next level. So the first reason is, the two minute rule makes things easier. If you only have to do two minutes, practicing the language isn't so bad. And second, you could put in more time up front, but that's not the best way. Language becomes natural to us over time, not overnight or after a three hour study session, meaning you have to chip away at it daily. You need time to review, to rest, to let your brain sort it out and come back to practice some more. So what do you currently struggle with? Chances are you're going to avoid these pain points because, well, you'd rather do what's fun or easy, passive stuff like watching YouTube. So that's where the two minute rule comes in. Part two, how to apply this learning tactic. To start, all you have to do is put in two minutes a day or per session if you want to do multiple sessions a day. So think about what it is you're struggling with right now. It could be conjugating verbs, it could be a specific grammar point, or it could be the alphabet for now. If you're using a notebook, which we strongly recommend, at the top of the page, write down the one pain point you want to focus on and just put in at least two minutes practicing that specific thing. You can do more if you want, but keep it short for now and walk away before it feels like a struggle. There's no rush to do it all now. Then at your next learning session, do it again first thing. Open up your notebook, write down that same point you want to focus on, practice it, and then move on to the easier things. And bit by bit, you'll start getting used to the grammar point, the pronunciation, or whatever else that you're struggling with. And it'll slowly become natural for you over time. Again, it's not about mastering everything right now, but making it easy to do and putting in the time consistently. The point is not to overwhelm yourself, which can easily happen if you're practicing something you're not good at. The point is to end it before it gets frustrating. And if you keep at it daily, you'll start cracking through the hard parts of your target language. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to reach your goal for the year, the long-term strategy for success. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time, bye. Want to be able to speak in your target language? Ideally, you'd want a teacher or native speaker to practice with. But if you don't have one, or if you're an introvert who's not ready to talk to native speakers, then good news. There are ways to practice speaking and conversations in your target language without having to speak to anyone. How? Keep watching. How to practice conversation, even if you're an introvert. Today, you'll discover one, how to use your smartphone to practice speaking, two, how to immerse yourself in native conversations, and three, how to get feedback on your speaking without having to speak to anyone. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So how can you practice speaking and conversations on your own? First, you can change the language of your voice assistant on your smartphone. Like Siri on the iPhone or Google Assistant on Android. 
This is the easiest thing you can do and a good way to practice speaking the phrases you've learned. If the AI can understand you and respond, then you're on the right track. Second, immerse yourself in real conversations with our audio and video lessons. Learning through conversations is the fastest way to learn. And with our special Conversation First lesson format, you learn a quick dialogue in every lesson. All you have to do is listen, follow along with the transcript, and you'll get used to native level conversations. Plus, you'll get every word and grammar rule translated and explained by our teachers. You get these lessons the moment you sign up. Third, shadow the conversations in the lessons. Meaning, repeat what you hear out loud. And you can practice shadowing easily with the line-by-line -line audio dialogue that breaks down the conversation into individual lines. Just press the speaker icon to hear the audio and repeat the line. Fourth, practice speaking with our pronunciation practice tools. Here, you'll get to practice speaking the lines from the lesson conversation and compare yourself with the native speakers. This is also a good way to improve your pronunciation because you can hear how you and the native speaker sound side by side. Just look for the microphone icon inside the dialogue and click on it to record yourself. And fifth, test your speaking skills and get feedback from teachers. With our hand-graded assessments, a Premium Plus feature. If you're learning with our system, you'll get tested on what you've learned with multiple choice assessments and hand-graded assessments. And hand-graded assessments test you on your speaking and writing and are reviewed by teachers afterwards so that you can get feedback from native speakers without actually having to speak to anyone just yet. So if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Are there ways to make language learning easier? Is it even possible? Six ways to make learning easier than before. In this guide, you'll discover the six ways to make learning easy, why cheating and looking up answers is a good way to actually learn a language, how to learn from native speakers without getting overwhelmed by their fast speaking, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, how can you make learning a language easier? One, learn in small chunks of time. We all know that mastering a language takes time, and this fact alone is overwhelming for many learners. But while it can take time, that doesn't mean you need to study for hours a day. In fact, the best way to learn is to just learn in small chunks of like 5, 10, 15, or even 20 minutes, since language learning is a marathon and not a sprint. You'll need to be consistent, and the best way to do so is to do a little bit every day, instead of overwhelming yourself into quitting. Two, have a roadmap to follow. Another thing that makes language learning hard is there's just too much to do and learn. There's reading, speaking, listening, grammar, vocabulary, a million paths you can go down. But if you had just one pathway to follow, then learning would become a lot easier because there's only one thing to focus on. And with our learning system, that's exactly what you get. You get a recommended pathway of lessons and assessments based on your learning level. Just follow the pathway from lesson one to two to three. Our audio and video lessons are just a few minutes long, so you can learn in small chunks of time. And after every few lessons, you'll be tested on the language with our assessments. Three, read along with the dialogues. If you want to learn from native speakers, you'll quickly notice that they speak a little too fast for beginners. You can't hear where one word ends and another word starts. But if you could listen and follow along with a transcript, you'd be able to hear and see the words, pick up every single word, and quickly get used to native conversations. So when you're learning with our lessons, follow along with the lesson notes and the lesson transcript. The lesson notes give you the dialogue of the conversation, plus grammar explanations. And the lesson transcript is just a transcript of everything said in the lesson. Four, get the conversation broken down. Another way to make native conversations easy to understand is to have the conversation broken down line by line so that you can hear each line one at a time as much as you want. And you can do just that with our line by line audio dialogue. 
This feature breaks down the lesson dialogue into individual lines that you can listen to and includes the text and translation so that you can hear and see it at the same time. Five, have someone else teach you. Learning on your own can also be hard. You'll likely have a lot of questions about grammar rules. You'll feel uncertain about whether you're saying things right and you won't learn the nuances of words and grammar from a dictionary. So, if you aren't learning with a teacher or a native speaker, we'd recommend you get one. And with our audio and video lessons, which are made by real teachers, you can learn directly from our teachers and get words and grammar rules explained and learn at your own pace. And just like how any good teacher would test you, you also automatically get tested on what you learn with our assessments. And you can even get your very own teacher with the Premium Plus plan. Six, use cheat sheets. Learning anything new can be hard at first, and you'll often be frustrated with the fact that whatever you learn now, you'll likely forget later. But the fact is, successful learning is a result of getting used to the language. You might struggle with words or grammar rules now, but you'll get used to them after seeing, hearing, and using them over time. So that's why it's okay to cheat and take another peek at the meanings of the words and grammar rules you learned before. That's how you get used to the language. And that's where our PDF conversation cheat sheets come in. You can use this free resource to glance through and review words, phrases, and grammar rules until they're natural to you. So, if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Is it possible to cheat your way into speaking, reading, and writing in your target language? It is. That is, if you have our PDF language cheat sheets. How to practice speaking, reading, and writing with the PDF cheat sheets. And today, you'll discover, one, how you can add more language to your brain without spending time looking up words in a dictionary, and two, how to improve your speaking, reading, and writing with the cheat sheets. But first, if you don't yet have access to these resources and our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. What are PDF cheat sheets? Our cheat sheets are a quick way to improve your language skills without having to study for hours or spend time looking up words in a dictionary. With every cheat sheet, you get a basic dialogue and must know words and phrases for common topics like hobbies, weather, talking about your day, and much more. And there are over 30 cheat sheets that you can download for free on our site, if you remember. But how can you improve your language with the cheat sheet? Let's take a look. One, how to practice speaking. Every cheat sheet comes with a quick, practical dialogue that you can use when you chat with native speakers. But you can also practice speaking ahead of time. Just read the dialogues out loud a few times a day and you'll get used to saying these lines. Reading out loud is one tried and tested tactic for improving your speaking skills. And when you get a chance to speak with a native speaker, you'll be able to say these lines naturally. Two, how to practice reading. You can also practice reading by simply reading through the cheat sheet, the key dialogue, and the words and phrases inside. Just download the PDF to your phone or computer and read through whenever you have a few moments. Or you can print out the cheat sheets and read through them as well. Three, how to practice writing. The easiest way to practice writing is to simply copy out the words on the cheat sheet into a notebook. You can also print out the cheat sheets and write on them directly. And as a bonus, you get to remember all of the words and phrases better. Whichever skill you want to practice, be sure to do it a few times a day every day for the language to really stick. Or just use the cheat sheets to cheat and get the must-know words for a topic you want to talk about. So, if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.